بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ہوپ ایوری ون ول بی فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے از سیکنڈ جون ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ون دس از یور انگلش کلاس اینڈ دس از دا سیکنڈ ویڈیو آف دا منتھ آف جون فور کلاس سکس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس the words meaning and word sentences of unit number 2 page number 9 and also today we are going to uh, make the title page for unit number 2 that how you will make the title page now come to next sheet in this sheet you will find the title page for unit number 2 like this kind of page you will ready you sorry you will make in your copy look here first of all you have to write date okay after that unit number page number and here the title name of the unit number 2 like this boys you can see that after that i have written words meaning we have five words meaning next we have word sentences we have total five word sentences in this unit after that the next topic will be comprehension passage and this is only one and the further work you will do like this activities with the capital letters okay and you have to write the whole information your copy you can see it boys like for example activities exercise b page number 10 on book you will write and you will make your title page like this okay boys i hope you guys understood well and make sure that you have to draw the margin lines okay both sides okay both sides you have to uh, draw the margin line and you have to underline the uh, the headings as well at the end when you complete your work you have to draw the ending line okay boys i hope you guys understood well about title page now move to next page in next page there is word meaning of unit number 2 okay boys word meaning words meanings of unit number 2 <clears throat> okay boys let's take start with the first one the first one you can see this is the word inspect i n s p e c t inspect inspect mean to check or to examine okay to check or to examine and inspect is what according to grammar it is it is verb now move to next word detectors d e d e c again repeat d e t e c T O R S detectors and it is according to grammar noun the mean of detectors is what sensors sensors okay by which then uh, by which the insects feels okay now move to next word thorax T H O R A X thorax and it is noun according to grammar it is noun and what is the meaning of thorax the middle part of an insect's body okay the middle part of an insect's body it is called what thorax now move to next word pest pests pests and it is also noun in grammar and it's mean harmful insects and you can also say that it it means trouble maker which create problems sometimes uh, different kinds of insects they uh, destroy crops okay so it's mean harmful pest p e s t s pest okay mean harmful insects now come to the last one camouflage camouflage c a m o u f l a g e camouflage mean disguise mean disguise and it is noun plus verb according to grammar it is what it is noun plus verb so you know the meaning of camouflage as well that camouflage mean disguise those kinds of uh, insects which are able 
and that they can change their color according to what according to environment they can change their uh, their colors according to environment to avoid danger to save themselves okay from danger okay boys when you complete your words meaning in your copy so you must ending line okay boys don't forget about presentation you have to draw the margin lines write that on the top of the sheet on the page okay also mention uh, words meaning and you have to draw the line and also leave space okay space leave uh, lines between words leave line like this like this i have leave lines two lines or one line it depends on your writing style on your uh, writing found that how you are uh, uh, how you are writing okay so leave space leave space and also leave uh, lines between words and work neat and clean okay boys and also give numbers to your words and don't put any dot or uh, slash anything only just give numbers to your words okay boys i hope you guys understood well about words meanings okay boys so this was all about your words meanings of unit number 2 now we are going further and there is word sentences okay word sentences of unit number 2 now we are going to discuss word sentences of unit number 2 <clears throat> okay boys first of all look to the page that how you will prepare your page okay boys there left side there is uh, numbers also both side margin line okay and you have prepare your page like this at the end you will draw the margin line okay boys work neat okay boys and do your presentation well okay boys let's start word sentences okay boys word sentence you your heading with capital letters okay boys number 1 sections s e c t i o n s section according to grammar it is noun plus verb okay now look to the first example the sentence of n section n sex body has three sections n sex body has three sections okay so you can here and uh, section is used as a noun now if you want that i am going to use uh, section as a verb so you can also use it for example i am giving you a few example about section that how you will use it as a verb she was sectioned by the judge she was sectioned by the judge here section uh, is used as a verb now in the second example you can also say like that section the chicken and marinate the parts section the chicken and marinate the parts in these two example i use the section word as a verb okay boys now move to next word i hope you understood well the first one now come to the second one colonies c o l o n i e s colonies and it is noun and you know the meaning of colonies for example the sentence of colonies is like that ants live in colonies ants live in colonies okay boys you can also use colonies in different uh, sentences as well for example government of pakistan established many colonies or you can also say it like that we live in new colony we live in old colony i love i love my colony because the environment of my colony is very good you can use in different ways okay boys now move to next example environment number 3 environment e n v i r o n m e n t s environments and it is noun it is noun look to the example we should keep our environments clean we should keep our environments clean you can also use uh, environment in different sentences as well for example we must try to uh, protect 
the environment clean you can also say like that or you can also say like that in the next example children need children need a happy home environment okay boys now come to number four number four is danger d-a-n-g-e-r danger you know the meaning of danger okay boys danger okay and it, it is noun now look to the example danger the boy felt danger ahead the boy felt danger ahead and it is noun danger is what noun according to grammar you can also say it like that i think we are out of danger this is another example i think we are out of danger or you can also say like that the refugees believe that their lives are in danger okay boys so you use in different uh, kind of example the danger word okay boys now come to the last one nocturnal the last one is what nocturnal and the spelling of nocturnal is n o c t u r n a l nocturnal and it is adjective according to grammar it is adjective now look to the example moths moths are nocturnal creatures moths are nocturnal creatures what is the uh, meaning of nocturnal nocturnal we have discussed in your uh, in your unit as well that those ca those uh, kind of insects are creatures which which active during night for example there is another example as well nocturnal animal nocturnal animal sleep by day and hunt by night yes as i uh, discussed that they active at night so here in the example nocturnal animal sleep by day and hunt by night okay in the another example you can also say that hamsters are nocturnal creatures hamsters are nocturnal creatures hamster mean uh, it is a kind of uh, mouse okay is it is a kind of uh, mouse so boys this was all about your word sentences look to the look to the page that at the end i have uh, driven the end, uh, marge, uh, sorry the ending line and on the sides you there are margin lines at the end ending line and the, on the sides there are margin lines so boys look to the page very closely that you have to prepare your page like this okay boys i hope you guys understood well and dear students kindly collect your june task from school in the first week of june as soon as possible and do and sorry and you will do june task with the help of these video videos in neat copy with neat handwriting okay boys focus on your writing improve your writing as well and do your presentation well but the videos work you will do in rough copy okay boys not in neat copy and draw margin line with black markers and also give your heading with the blue markers with capital letters so boys you have to focus uh, to your presentation as well uh, write and writing as well write neat and clean draw the margin lines draw the margin lines also write date and give ending lines to every topic where they end and also focus to your uh, writing to improve your writing give uh, uh, special focus to your capitalization that where the word should be capital and where the word should be small and also to focus your heading okay the heading should be in capital letters so boys this was all about your uh, second video of the the month of june i hope you guys understood well try your best work hard don't waste your time and take care of yourself allah is assalamu alaikum